Wow, that was my reaction when I saw the new styles from Cartier for 2022. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the new wood and buffalo horn models that have just been released. This is gonna be the first time that you'll ever see them. And I'm super proud and excited to be bringing them to you today. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at The Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you want luxury, if you want bold, beautiful eyewear, and if you want Cartier, these are gonna be your perfect frames. We've got three brand new models, never before seen, and the designs on them are completely new, as you're about to see. And we're going to start, let's try the middle pair first, which have a beautiful, gorgeous, black buffalo horn temple with a rimless design in the Premier de Cartier style. So this is where we see the three ridges on the gold metalwork. Of course, being Cartier, these are 23 karat gold plated. And I think they got the dimensions of this frame absolutely spot on. It could go bigger as sunglasses generally tend to be larger, but even in this slightly undersized style, it's so current, so 2022. The most unique part of this collection is the C de Cartier and the way that that's been integrated into the temple. Generally with the wood and buffalo horn frames, it's just pure wood or just pure buffalo horn. Now we have the metalwork extending to kind of halfway down the temple. But it's not only that, we also have a thicker temple end, which gives these a bit more purchase behind the ears, but more so than that, an extra element of style as people seeing you from the side are gonna see that chunkier temple design. The black buffalo horn is the one that I would choose, but we also see white buffalo horn and wood, as you can see here. So the exact same frames. I love this lighter shade of wood, by the way. Gorgeous, we see that in the optical frames in other parts of the collection as well. And the white buffalo horn remains the most commonly selected colorway in the luxury category of Cartier. We are selling so many of these in the other styles. It'd be really interesting to see if the white buffalo horn takes off in this model. But you can see that the white buffalo horn is just gonna have that slightly more opulent look, whereas I think the black buffalo horn is a little bit more understated. This just looks really regal and royal, especially with a white shirt, it just really ties in. I almost feel like a prince wearing them and I have to remember that I definitely am not a prince, but just absolutely gorgeous. The way the buffalo horn is polished as ever with Cartier, it's just second to none. The finishing, lovely. And I really, really appreciate the new temple design with the logo embellishment. So in the past, we've seen that just say Cartier. Now it has the actual Cartier hallmark, which I love, I think I, think I prefer that to the older style of the Cartier logo. And to complete this pair, Cartier have also finished it with an amber flash coating on the lens. And if you want this in prescription, we can replicate that for you. That's the really exciting part. Of course, all of these frames can be customized and we'll talk about that more uh, when we get to the optical models. But this is the wood pair, which Cartier have matched with a green tint. The green is the classic lens color for Cartier and I think it just has that slightly more valuable look, that more premium look, which I adore. Now, in all of these new models, we're only seeing gold. There's no platinum releases yet. I think it's the first time I've ever seen a Cartier model that wasn't available in platinum. But for now, at least, we only have gold. But I think in these styles, you know, with the bolder metalwork, with the thicker metalwork that we see, I think gold works really well, actually. And I can't imagine platinum being quite as effective. The wood pair is slightly more of, I guess, a quirky look, like you can definitely tell it's wood straight away, whereas only an aficionado would know that this is buffalo horn. This is cl very clearly wood. And I guess in that way, it makes them a little bit more eye-catching. I'm a real fan of the wood in terms of how it feels. I prefer, personally, the texture of it because it gives a little bit more grip against the skin, whereas the buffalo horn tends to be smooth. Um, but of course, they both have the pros and cons and they're both equally beautiful in different ways. Being natural materials, you'll never, ever, ever get two pairs the same. And that's the exciting part about these kind of frames. So moving on to the optical models, we see the same colorways again, except with the wood pair, we now see it in this beautiful red. And we could make this as a sunglass if you really like the red. Clearly the red is gonna stand out the most of all of these models. And that goes for the other sunglasses we're going to showcase as well, because it's a color and it's a bright color. But what could be more unmistakably Cartier 
than red. It's their iconic brand image. And you can see with the red, it does just stand out that bit more. I think it works as an optical frame, but this could work maybe even better with a sunglass lens. Imagine with a red gradient tint, some different flash coatings to really make it pop. That would just be stunning. It would be an incredible look. And I can't wait to create that for someone. I'm sure we will be doing very soon. Check out, by the way, my short video that I posted recently where I showcase like a red tint with a flash coating. That would just be a perfect match for this frame. But you can see that in the optical models, they've actually made the lens a little bit larger. And I do like that because I think that if it was an optical frame with a smaller lens, it would maybe be a little bit understated, especially with the metal work, it, would be, it wouldn't be balanced. And with a larger lens, it is more balanced. But of course, to complete these frames, you do need to add a tint. Even if you're wearing them you know, inside and you want them to look clear, a slight tint on the lens to give it definition is always gonna make it better. You should never ever buy these frames with a totally clear lens. It just it ruins them really. And of course, Cartier have created the samples as a blank canvas, so you can apply any tint to this kind of look. Of course, based on your requirements, we'll talk to you about the tint that's gonna be best suited, not just on your requirements, but of course, what's going to match the colorway. Because again, we've got these in the white buffalo horn, which you see here. and the black buffalo horn, which in this case has come out a lot darker. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier that different cuts of horn are going to have a completely different coloration. As you can see, when you compare those together, they're completely different looks. And when you order a pair of these, you never really know which color you're going to get. And that's part of the excitement. But the point I was making is that clearly this is gonna suit a different kind of tint to the red pair and similarly to the white pair. And it's all about matching the right tint with the right color frame. Now, finally, the showstopper. And these take the same design, the same construction, but add a full gold frame to complete them. But that gold around the lens rim gives the frames a bit more presence from the front. Some people are gonna prefer this because it balances with the bridge really well and with the lug design. You know, it kind of, it makes the lugs and the bridge not stand out as much as they did with the rimless versions. As you can see here, your eyes are immediately drawn to the lugs and the bridge with the Premier de Cartier detailing. Whereas with the full rim sunglasses, a bit less so, it, you know, it does balance it out. And this is also a larger lens than the rimless that we showcased at the start of the video. And I think as a sunglass, if you really want like a functional pair of sunglasses, this is definitely gonna work better because you do have that larger lens coverage that's gonna give your eyes more protection. But let's be honest, nobody's buying these for the functionality, it's all about the style. And whether you prefer this or this is gonna completely come down to personal preference. Personally, I always think Cartier are the quintessential rimless glasses. So I'd lean towards the rimless, but the full rim in a way is a bit more of a classic sunglass. So they both definitely have their pros and cons. What would be awesome would be to potentially have this one maybe in the wood and then this one in the buffalo horn. I think that would be an amazing pairing if you want the best of both worlds. Now, finally, we see the same model in again, the white buffalo horn. And even with white buffalo horn, you're going to get a different coloration on each frame. You can see this one, particularly on the left-hand temple, has more graying within the horn. Part of the whole process of buying a frame like this is the risk that you take, but also the excitement of not knowing exactly what you're going to get until you unbox them. And that's a super fun part of the whole process that you don't really get with normal glasses. You know, with normal glasses, you kind of know how they're gonna look when you buy them. With these, and it's about a four to six week wait at the moment from Cartier, you've got that four to six weeks to really imagine what they could look like. And the excitement of unwrapping them, unboxing them, and finding out what pair you got is, going to be an amazing moment, one that you'll probably cherish forever. And finally, we see the black buffalo horn. Maybe the most classy look, definitely the best, I think, with a suit. If you're wearing them in a formal environment, this would probably be the one out of all of them. And as a formal pair of sunglasses, it just works so well because it's classy somewhat understated, but very regal and elegant and super luxurious. Above all, beautiful. And I think that would be the point to take away from 
this entire collection is that they are beautiful pieces of eyewear. The new design with the gold accentuation with the C. de Cartier continuing halfway down the temple is an amazing idea, an amazing concept that's not been done before. And I'm really interested to get your thoughts on this new design. How do you feel it compares to the old style where it was just pure wood or pure buffalo horn? Do you think this is a step forward, a step backwards? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's worse? Let me know in the comment section below. But I've really, really enjoyed presenting this collection to you today. When it was unveiled to me, I was simply in awe. I thought, where can Cartier really go from where they are at the moment? How can they improve on what they've already done? And I feel like they have, for the right person, you know. For those that want something a bit more original, a bit more different that hasn't been done before, these are super unique, super cool. And I think for many people, these are going to be the best glasses, best sunglasses they've ever had, and maybe ever will have. But if you have enjoyed this video, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel for more of this amazing eyewear content. We love being the first to bring to you amazing new designs from a whole range of different brands, but especially Cartier. And if you have got any questions about this new collection or Cartier in general, leave them in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.